Welcome to Maggie's Cottage. We want to thank all of you that have subscribed to our channel. We appreciate your support. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please take the opportunity to do that and help our channel grow. I just love having a mudroom at the cottage. This is a picture of our mudroom. It is a nice big room. It didn't always look like this, of course. It was in bad shape, just like the rest of the house. So in today's video, I want to take you through how we made our storage benches for our mudroom at Maggie's Cottage. It's a very simple, easy project. In fact, it's an IKEA hack that we used using their Calyx shelf units to make a storage bench and cubbies for our mudroom. And this can be used in any part of your room, in a small entryway, in a small mudroom. You don't have to have a big mudroom like we have at the cottage to use this. It was really quite easy and I love the way that it turned out. Of course, our mudroom didn't look like this when we started out. It was bad, just like the rest of the cottage. So we had a bit of work to do. And we have a video on the transformation of the mudroom if you'd like to check that out. I think you'll enjoy it. But here's a picture to show you what it looked like before we started on it. This is what it looked like when we bought the house. It was in bad shape. So we had some work to do on it. And check out that video, I think you'll enjoy it. We had a great time fixing up this mudroom. We love having it, especially with 15 grandchildren. So of course, here's Brian getting it ready for our cubby benches, our storage benches. So our first step was to decide what cabinets we wanted to get from Ikea. So we went online, checked out, found these that would be the right size. It's the Calyx shelf unit. And we don't have an Ikea close to us, so we ordered it online and then went and picked them up in front of the store. I highly recommend it. It was really easy. So we got four of these units and Brian needed to put them together. He did a great job. He's very handy. Even if you're not that handy, it's a really easy job to do. So the only other things that we needed to put these together was some beadboard, a piece of lumber, and some hooks. And here you see me with the beadboard. I'm painting it white to match the cubbies. It takes a little bit of time to get the paint into all these grooves, but I wanted it to look like shiplap, and I'm going to lay this horizontal so it mimics shiplap. And I love the way that it turned out. And beadboard is, or it was at that time, much less expensive to use than shiplap, so we chose to go with the beadboard. And then Brian needed to cut it down to the size so that it would fit right in this little square area that we have. He started with the first cubby on the bottom that he tipped sideways and he used brackets that came with it to attach it to the wall and then he put the next one up to the side and attached that with brackets. See, it's nice and sturdy. And then he's going to staple in the shiplap on each side with his staple gun I also picked up some of the cloth bins from Ikea that fit into these little cubbies and they're nice. I like them. And of course you can always use baskets or whatever else you want. But here it is with the shiplap up on both sides. I love having a large mudroom but this could fit into a small area like I said, an entryway or a smaller mudroom or a laundry room. Just do one of them. So like I said, we also used a piece of pine board and this was an old piece of wood that we had from one of our other projects. So cut it to size and whitewashed it and Brian just stapled it in above the beadboard just to finish it off and give it a little bit of a rustic look. And I think it looks really great. And so I wanted to have some hooks on there to hang some coats on. So from Amazon, we ordered some hooks. They look like vintage hooks and basically Brian just drilled a little hole and screwed them in and it's a perfect place to do hats and sweaters or coats and added some pillows because I love pillows, some little pillows that I had made and it looks so cute. This has been great storage for our family as we come into the mudroom to put shoes in, to hang coats up and other items. Here's a little video of the mudroom when it was completely done. Check out the video of us putting this mudroom together. It's a fun little video and we use this vinyl flooring in the mudroom and it has held up really well. So I would also recommend that for an entryway or a mudroom. 
We added some other shelving, painted some things up, added some cute decor, and we just really love this mudroom. It is a big mudroom, which is nice because the cottage really isn't that big. That's a cute little room inside there. Check out our video about this little room that we made into a bedroom. This was a scary storage room. I made it into a little sleeping room off of the mudroom. So I just thought you might enjoy a little tour of it when it's completely done. I added a little desk and chair out there to do some projects. So I hope you enjoyed this video and that it gives you some ideas on some things that you can do for your entryway or your mudroom or your laundry room or maybe even a bedroom. These Calyx Ikea cubbies are great and this is a great little hack that you can use just to make them a little bit better and add some beadboard, some wood, some things, whatever works for you to do. So this shelf I'm showing you now was actually the walkway between the living room and the kitchen in the cottage that had been ripped out with the, and I love this transom window and we didn't want to lose that so we made it into a shelf and put it into our mudroom. This big cabinet there we use for storage. I'm thinking someday I may use it for a pantry as well. Saw that door with the oval window. That was my great great grandmother Emmeline's door that we added. But aren't these cute? They just really finished off the mudroom to make it a cute little room for us. So thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful for you. Please check out some of our other videos. We have a lot of videos about the renovation of the cottage and some DIY projects that are fun and easy to do. And I think you'll enjoy them. And please subscribe to our channel if you haven't and help our channel to grow. Thank you.